I couldn't help but feel a mixture of embarrassment and frustration as I stood there in the unfamiliar outfit Amy had picked out for me. It was supposed to be a simple night out with my friends, but thanks to the great shift, everything had taken a bizarre turn. While most of my buddies had swapped with each other and found themselves in similar situations, I was the unlucky one who had ended up in a girl's body. I sighed and muttered to myself, I can't believe I'm the only one who got swapped with a girl. Ian, always the quick-witted one, couldn't resist poking fun at my predicament. Serves you right, he said with a smirk. You were always the biggest horn dog among us, it's poetic you're the only one with a horn, now. I rolled my eyes at Ian's quip but had to admit that he had a point. I had always been the guy in our group who enjoyed flirting with pretty girls and having a good time. Now, I found myself navigating a completely different world, trying to understand what it meant to be in a woman's shoes, literally. As we continued on with our evening, I couldn't help but wish that my friends could truly understand how disorienting and uncomfortable this transformation was for me. Everything felt different, from the way I moved to the way I was being perceived by others. It was a whole new world, and I was just beginning to grasp the challenges that came with it. Over time, my friends and I had all adapted to our new reality, and they started calling me, Zara, instead of Zach. It was strange to hear my own friends refer to me with a feminine name, but I had to admit, it was growing on me. One of the most significant changes was in the way my friends treated me. They became incredibly protective and chivalrous, opening doors, offering their jackets when it was cold, and even complimenting me on my appearance. It was strange at first, but I couldn't deny that it made me feel special. Amy, who had swapped bodies with Tyler, took me under her wing. She taught me how to apply makeup and choose outfits that accentuated my newfound feminine features. I started to appreciate the effort that women put into their appearance, and it was oddly satisfying to feel attractive. One evening, as we were getting ready to go out, Amy handed me a beautiful dress that she had picked out for me. You're going to look amazing in this, she said with a wink. I blushed, still not entirely used to receiving compliments like this from my friends. As I looked at myself in the mirror after getting dressed, I couldn't help but smile. The dress fit perfectly, and I felt a sense of confidence I hadn't experienced before. My friends gathered around, admiring my appearance and boosting my self-esteem. Wow, Zara, you look stunning. Will exclaimed, and the others echoed their approval. Heading out that night, I walked with a newfound grace, feeling more comfortable in my own skin. It was strange how this experience had changed me, not just physically but emotionally as well. I was starting to understand the world from a different perspective, and it was teaching me to appreciate the beauty and strength of women in a whole new way. As the night went on, I couldn't resist the temptation to flirt with my friends, who now saw me as a woman. It was strange yet exhilarating to use my newfound charm and femininity to my advantage. Tyler, who had swapped with Amy and now found himself in a woman's body, was the first to fall victim to my playful teasing. You know, Tyler, I said with a mischievous smile, I always thought you were a good-looking guy, but I have to admit, you make a pretty cute girl too. Tyler blushed and laughed nervously, clearly not used to being on the receiving end of such comments. Well, Zara, I guess we can both appreciate the perks of our new bodies, he replied with a wink. Jerry, always the flirty one of the group, chimed in, Zara, you're absolutely gorgeous tonight. I'm starting to think you might have an unfair advantage over us now. I giggled and played along, twirling a strand of my hair coyly. Maybe I do, Jerry, but you guys aren't making it easy for me to resist flirting with such handsome gentlemen. Our banter continued throughout the evening, with compliments and innuendos flying back and forth. It was all in good fun, and we couldn't help but laugh at the absurdity of our situation. As the night came to an end, I couldn't help but feel a sense of empowerment. My friends had treated me like a lady, and I had embraced this new identity with confidence and charm. It was a bizarre twist of fate, but I had learned that sometimes, it takes experiencing life from a different perspective to truly appreciate the complexities and nuances of human interactions.